my god, I feel sick. I won't be able to take the kids in it, I won't be able to take Laura in it. It's gonna be that I set up a you know a survival pack every time I go out, as long as there's music blaring in my ears, drowning out my tears. Uh, I've driven the car to the shops and it's just as bad as if not slightly worse. Dubra Utro, good morning and welcome to another day at the Phoenix Project. So we are waiting this morning for the Channel 4 cameraman to come. Um, his name is Baz, he's lovely. Um, and uh, I won't turn the camera because Anthony's just come out in his pants. Um, so we are going to be doing a few things today. We're actually going to finally be getting to the edge of the border uh, next to the barn and uh, doing some stuff in the garden. <laughs> so cute! I mean, um, what are okay. you? So we've got quite a lot of jobs to do today. So we're going to do some more in the garden because we still haven't got the car back and we don't have any materials to do anything in the house. So no. we're going, we need to fence off the vegetable garden because, <coughs> CC. We need to fence off the vegetable garden because the chickens keep invading the, the crops. Literally, every, any low hanging veggies that they remember. jump up and get yeah. them. Um, we also need to enclose the human compost around there properly. Yeah. And then we need to clear all the way back to see where our border is on that side. So we're going to find out um, what's around the barn and, and stuff. So that's enough for today. It's super hot. It's probably gonna... more. It's, yeah, it's probably more than enough. Yeah, I've been up this morning since about eight o'clock and I went out and I put the posts in for the humanure and came out and did some bits already because it was already 23 degrees. Um, at that point, so we need to um, start working now. It's ten nineteen. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, there we go. So, just got enough. <laughs> just, just enough. enough. Strap. Right. So, what I'm going to have to try and do now is try and throw it in. Drop it at an angle mm. so that if it immediately takes on a bit of water, it's then it's hopefully it will sink. What is it? Do you know more or less how deep it is? Uh, well, to the water, this is probably 10 meter, 10 meters of strap. So it's probably like eight or nine meters deep to the water, but I have no idea from the surface to the bottom how deep it is. Cece, don't lean over the edge, please. Okay. It's water. You got that wow. water. Wow, we got some water. Oh, it's lovely and cold. Is it? Um, <laughs> I touch it too. Okay, so I think we probably need to get a glass so that we can see the sediment that's in it. Yeah. 
I'll go and grab one. Let's also not in the bucket. Oh, what is that thing? What is that what thing? There? See that long? Let me just... Oh, yeah, yeah. there's like a big worm or something in the mm -hmm. bottom. Yeah. a centipede or something but it's it's, it's a, inflated from being <laughs> it's dead, dead. In water. yeah, yeah. <laughs> disgusting pop that in our tequila <laughs> i don't know what angle you need to be able to that's, see that's through the jar <laughs> oh there it is you know we can't be in here showering unprotected from the elements outside so like this oh so we've retreated to the cool air conditioning um in the bedroom for a minute just because it's about 32 degrees now it's um about one o'clock so we're going to cool down and then we're just going to see how we feel because it's really important to not overdo it in the heat so um yeah we're just going to have some lunch and just cool down it's so hot um, also, um, so the car, we still haven't heard about the car, um, the car is still um, not finished, so we're just like waiting for that text to come through, um, so we're trying to keep ourselves busy, you know, to keep our minds. Ivy and I are just trying to, uh, ah, he has as well, we've gone down the field, haven't been, whoa, hang on a minute, we haven't been down here in like a couple of months because it was so overgrown behind me and uh yesterday we saw the tractor go past and ivy is dying to get down here i stopped them from running down here as well because of the ticks but now it's too hot for mostly too hot for ticks so i can let her go and let her have a little bit of a run right are you ready oh you're doing a poo okay, okay nice christen it okay you ready certainly wait wait Wait. Okay. Wee. Good girl. So it's Sunday morning, the day of Sutrin, and I just want to show you why we love living here so much. Um, oh my God, I feel sick. So it feels like the worst thing that could have happened has happened. I was so worried about this. I haven't been able to sleep because my brain has been thinking this is what's going to happen. I've been trying, I've been trying so hard to focus on the positive and think, no, it's going to, it's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. So the mechanic has just messaged um, and said that the car, after I've bought the part, he's replaced it and hasn't fixed the problem. So we bought the torque converter and um, the flywheel. So I spent, I think, about 500 euros on that. Um, and he just said it hasn't hasn't fixed the problem. He he put it all back together, turned it on, and it just continued making the same noise. He's coming to pick me up now, so I can go and collect the car and pay pay him. Um, you know, it's not his fault. It's just difficult, you know, when you know you're told like, okay, this is the problem with the car. This is what needs to be done to fix it. And no one, you know, it's one of those things you can't know until you take apart. But like he took the car apart, put the new part in, and that hasn't fixed the problem. So, yeah. Um, 
we've been without a car for maybe four or five weeks something like that i'm not sure how long it's been it feels like a long time being stuck here without a vehicle um yeah i really i have no idea what the next stage is trying to stay positive me and laura trying to you know say it's fine we'll we'll figure it out we always do but yeah being here without a car is not even close to ideal so I'm just waiting for Rob to come, um, come and pick me up and take me to his place to come go and collect the car. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know yet. I haven't spoken to him whether it's got worse or, or what the situation is, but essentially what it will be is until we can get a new car, I'm going to have to drive it probably. I won't be able to take the kids in it. I won't be able to take Laura in it. It's going to be that. I set up a, you know, a survival pack. Every time I go out, I'll make sure I've got water. I'll make sure I've got, you know, necessities so that if I break down anywhere, I'm only going to be driving as far as Strazitsa, which is a 15 minute drive. You know, it would probably take me a few hours to walk it, but essentially that'll be the situation we're in for a little while is uh just just kind of scraping by it's not really as much when i go downhill but when i accelerate you'll hear it there you go i can hear it tapping Like it gets worse right before it changes gear. It gets really bad and then it changes gear and kind of goes a bit quieter. So I'm currently emotional shopping because uh, I've driven the car to the shops and it's just as bad. It's if not slightly worse. It's nothing nothing against the mechanic, it's not his fault. Um, it's just the way it is sometimes. By an old vehicle, it's 24 years old, there's gonna be problems. Um, so I'm gonna buy myself some crisps and a sweet drink, and then I'm gonna feel better. Yeah, that's my plan. So I think I found a fix to the vehicle. Um, it's quite technical, but basically if I if I turn the music up really, really loud, I can't hear anything. I can just drive and the car's fine. As long as there's music blaring in my ears, drowning out my tears. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Ready for the beat? Big pile of shit. Yeah. You know, shit happens. We we bought it because we were in a in a pickle and it got us through that winter. Yeah. And that's as far as it got us, you know. We're now in a situation where I don't, I really don't know if there's anything we can do now. Yeah. With this, like, without basically changing the gearbox on it. Yeah. Which at that point, you think, yeah, I've got some, I've got some treats. Um, I don't have sweets, but I've got crisps. <laughs> oh, no. So yeah, um, the worst has basically sort of happened. Well, maybe not the worst because I guess we can kind of chance it and drive to the nearest villages for food and supplies and, you know, medical aid if we need it. 
but there are some things that we can't get hold of um, that are more expensive in the village shops like nappies and things like this um, so we don't really like we just don't have the funds behind us to get a car here I mean like a reliable car here is like six seven thousand lever and we have done so much research trying to find a, a car that could um, you know be reliable um, and it's just it's just not it's just not possible here because cars have to be imported to this country um i guess bulgaria is not particularly um like a, like a really like great place for cars for buying cars you know in the uk you can pick up a little run around for like 800 quid um but out here like you just can't um you can't find anything and even finding the jeep was like really difficult and that's a hunk of junk and it's got so many things wrong with it and it was absolutely destroyed by the previous owner um, and Anthony was really stressed buying it so um, we're in a real pickle now um, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel and I know that it might be controversial to do this but we have in the past um, you know called upon our friends to help us out in return for uh, favours so what we're going to do is we are going to offer um, basically a free holiday to um, one lucky person or family um, to come and stay with us for a week um, and all you've got to do to enter into this um, kind of competition draw um, kind of thing is you've just got to donate to our GoFundMe so we will put your email address um, into a hat um, along with your name if you include it um, and we at the end of the fundraiser once we reach the goal we're going to draw a name out of the hat and uh, that person will be the proud owner of a ticket to come and stay with us for a whole week. Um, we will dedicate our time to you for that se those seven days. Um, you will receive a detailed um, itinerary of what we're going to do um, so that you can see uh, what it is. We will liaise with you to uh, figure out what it is that you enjoy doing and we'll take you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take you wild swimming if you want to go or hiking or um, paddle boarding or anything like this or if you just want to go for a drink with us um, we will be doing that um, and this is where you could be staying is in our cute little teepee um, and we are going to be working on um, putting a shower an off-grid shower unit in here uh, next to the TP um, and also having a secondary uh, compost toilet up here so you have your own private area um, of course you'll be able to use our pool um, and you will be able to have some fresh eggs in the morning from the chickens and of course you can come and enjoy the peace and quiet from uh, our little piece of heaven um, so that's what we're offering essentially um, if you don't want to stay in the tent um, there is also the option of staying in, in the camper van if you wanted to stay in there that's also another option but the real thing is that you will have seven days uh, to come and stay with us for free um, and uh, all you'll have to do is pay for your flights really which honestly are really cheap if you're coming from the UK um, to Bulgaria okay so bear that in mind <laughs> if you're not from the UK uh, you may not want to enter um, yeah and if you're from Bulgaria then I guess uh, it's nice and easy for you to travel to us so that's kind of what we're doing um, I don't know what else what other options we have we have no we just there's no way we're going to be able to generate that much money on our own in such a short space of time um, you know we we need to be able to go to the city for supplies um, for uh, building supplies um, we need to be able to rely on our vehicle to get up and down hills uh, and at the moment at the moment um, we're really worried about it conking out in the middle of a hill with the kids in the back so that's where we're at guys so if you want to help us um all it would take would be for 150 people to donate 20 pounds um so you know or for i guess 300 people to donate 10 pounds um and we have collectively got 20,000 followers across tiktok instagram facebook and youtube so um if just a few selection of you can even just give us a fiver or two pound anything 
anything at all, then your name is going to go into the hat for all this prize draw um, to come and stay here at our beautiful home in Bulgaria. As I've said, it's probably going to be for next year, but if it's if things transpire and you're available and we're available, then you know you, you're more than happy, more than welcome to come here um, earlier than that. But we're going to try and plan it for next year so that we can get a good run up. We can plan everything with you. We can plan everything with you and make sure you're comfortable. And uh, yeah, so we're both quite stressed out at the moment. You know, we just. We just want a decent car um, we, we really don't want something fancy we just want something that we can really rely on and we've seen a few cars for about six thousand seven thousand lev um so that's kind of what we're going to try and do so if you can help us uh please click the link in the description you'll find it there um and uh, if you have any advice then please let us know <laughs> in the comments about buying cars in bulgaria um but uh, i'm sorry it's a bit of a negative update for you guys i know it's not the outcome that we wanted um, but these things happen and we would much rather be doing the battles here uh, in Bulgaria than in the UK. So, yeah, we're a little bit beaten up, but we'll just keep trudging on um, and just keep going. And um, hopefully, hopefully we can take the kids to the beach this year as we promised them. It's not looking hopeful right now, but um, hopefully we can do that. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, and uh, fingers crossed we can figure this out.